Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. You're with your nerdy bitter buddy, and today we're talking about Andor episodes four and five. Let's just state the obvious. Seeing Coruscant again, or Coruscant, however you pronounce it, that was great. Really like revisiting that. Obviously, that is where the Jedi Temple was before the Empire took over. <laughs> now it's Darth Sidious's HQ. I really liked seeing the dynamic between Mon Mothma and her husband. I really think her husband is going to cause some issues in later episodes, possibly. But it was really, really interesting to see Mon Mothma. You know, obviously we know she's a rebel, but it was good to see and interesting to see her home life. And yes, that is a, for anyone looking, that is a Baby Yoda tattoo. And the actress who plays Mon Mothma, I'm so sorry, I don't know her name. She does an awesome job. She has this screen presence that is just confident and like she knows who she is. Really, really enjoyed her. Episode four and five, they were very slow you know there's no popcorn action in this or i guess popcorn entertainment you know it felt like there was a lot of build up to something important that's going to happen episodes four and five continue more of what this show is good at in showing that the empire is this real threat they're big and imposing they're not to be trifled with and there are eyes everywhere and you're not sure who to trust and I really liked that because, it, like, you know, you're living in fearful times. In reality, who are you going to trust? Like, you're going to be very, very weary of everyone and, like, very trustworthy of, like, a very small amount of people. I also liked, within these two episodes, seeing more of the ISB, which is the Imperial Security Bureau. I like this because it's like, we get to see the people inside this empire and we don't really get much of a perspective in other star wars entertainment you know from the bad guys and obviously the dialogue in these two episodes and the show in general so far it's very tight you know it's not redundant dialogue everything has a purpose this dialogue is structured in a way where whatever characters say and how they say it it tells you it gives you information about the characters in a good way you know it tells you what you need to know subtext now the only thing is maybe these episodes are a bit too slow paced still but it definitely you know that being said it also feels like they are building to something important which brings me to my point is like Again, I can see how people could get bored of this show because there's no typical Star Wars popcorn entertainment for that matter. But I believe if you stick with it, it's going to pay off. For instance, like my last point here, they should release three episodes at a time. And what I mean by this is, you know, the first three episodes came out. That was like a story arc. I believe episode six is going to be the end of this story arc and then maybe episode seven is going to begin a new story arc and maybe end it on episode nine but that's just my opinion that's just what i th maybe think episodes four and five of andor were great they were really really good entertaining a little bit slower paced you know building up showing the struggle between characters trusting each other really trying to i guess practice how to impersonate the empire that they're trying to infiltrate that was awesome without spoilers anyway guys that's it for my review and thoughts on episodes four and five of andor what did you guys think of them are you liking the show so far if so why why not let me know let's all talk star wars let's all talk andor be respectful to each other and yeah, I'll see you guys in another review, in another video. Take care. Give me a subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video because it does help out. And I'll see you all next time. May the force be with you.